My toddler almost never addresses me as mom or mommy. He only does when he's annoyed or angry. I know he can. He just doesn't. So this morning, he was following me around calling me a dexpa over and over and over. Holding my face, mouth in front of my eyes, absolutely addressing me. Finally, he said, a dexpa, play baby shack. And I realized what was going on. My mom got a Fire TV Cube for Christmas, calling me Alexa and demanding I play Baby Shark. So this is his first complete verbal request for something, and he called me Alexa. Why the f- This is a short horror story. Actually, it makes a lot of sense, and to be honest, it isn't that weird. It's a behavior that needs correcting, to be sure, but it isn't that strange that he learned to do that. The toddler has probably repeatedly witnessed the adult say Alexa thing, and notice that request almost always gets honored. In his mind, he's connecting the phrase with a desired task being completed, so he's trying to imitate the adults around him in order to complete his desired task. He doesn't know any better because he's a toddler and doesn't recognize Alexa as being a name. He just assumes that's what you say when you want something because that's what the adults around him have taught him. He's mimicking, and it's perfectly normal and an expected and healthy behavior. If you don't like it, then you should probably blame the startling amount of people that use things like Alexa. Like, literally, this is happening because of the adults and has nothing to do with the toddlers. What they're doing is completely normal child behavior. In his toddler mind, Alexa is a super effective version of please. My experience with digital art. Merge the layer, crunk! Wrong layer! Why do we even have that layer? You're gay, they shouted. Dude, you're gay! I ignored them. It wasn't until I got home that I realized my gay had escaped! Those kind men were trying to tell me he was running away! (laughs) Ha ha! Grammar jokes. Juliet gazed across her balcony and said, It's over, Romeo. I have the high ground. Welcome to Applebee's. Would you like apples or bees? Bees? Hey, pick of the bees! I love how the devil went down to Georgia, which either implies that the devil is a northerner or that Georgia is lower than hell. As a southerner, yes. Terrible character ideas. A monk based on a European Christian archetype. They have sworn a sacred oath to defeat the giant snail plaguing the countryside. A dragonborn desperately trying to convince the party that they're actually a cockra with a skin condition that made their feathers fall out. Your standard horny bard, but they play a washboard. A sentient hat! Piloting a mannequin, a dark elf who's afraid of the dark and terrified of spiders, a peasant farmer who joined the adventure because they're going through a midlife crisis and want to find themselves, a druid who got involved because they're the party's weed dealer, and a werewolf who doesn't believe in the moon. LP, change the titles to great. When will the clown settings happen again? That was fun. Look at the mirror and they can start today. Shit, I wasn't ready for a murder in this. What's the most cursed but cute fun fact you know, Pucky? Cats, the furry little critter everyone loves, actually poops. How, how's that cursed? What, you like poop? You little poop lover, gross. If you die because I poison you, how is that my fault? Like, I'm sorry you aren't immune to my poisons. I think that's genuinely something you need to work on. Fix yourself before blaming others. Do you get it? Writing prompt. On everyone's 18th birthday, they receive a letter from their future selves. Some receive long messages about their future lovers or messages about changes they would have made. Yours contains nothing but a small list of locations and the words, Never visit. Well, you'd think I know myself better than this, you say, typing the first set of coordinates into your GPS. It's only an unpaid internship if you don't steal enough office supplies. Stealing is wrong, goat! You mean unpaid internships? I agree. Go for the printer toner, it's worth more than gold. <gasps> Fantastic advice. Elephants react to humans the same way that humans react to puppies. They think we're cute. My life has no greater joy than knowing elephants think I'm cute. Hey, psst. hey kids, you want to buy some drugs? That's basically the first interaction between humans and a snake ever. Yo, check out this knowledge fruit. It'll totally be the best thing ever. Wants to lead you down to a path of righteousness? I'm going to lead you down to the path that rocks. Ah, yes. Irish, England, and Australian. The holy grave slash trinity of... Wait, what are they saying? I'm sorry, do you have a fucking problem with the way we speak? 
Well, heads up. If you try to make a candle with food coloring, the food coloring's gonna sink to the bottom of the glass. And when the flame eventually reaches the bottom, all the food coloring will catch fire and become one giant tall flame that you cannot possibly blow out and the glass will start to crack. And then you throw your tea on it in a panic. Then the extremely hot food coloring will boil and sizzle horribly. Then the glass will shatter. Please take my words on this. Wait, what did you do, OP? I missed it!